Jill, another issue front and center is guns, and I want to read you NBC's reporting and some color from The New York Times on this front. Trump has been in talks, this is NBC News, Trump has been in talks with key members of the Senate on potential gun control legislation. The president, his daughter Ivanka Trump, and senior White House officials began conversations last week with key senators about what legislative action could be taken on gun control. Here's the Times. What the president hasn't done yet is the kind of arm twisting to Republican senators wary of gun control legislation that will be necessary to force a bill through Congress. He's shown no interest so far in a major address to ensure that public opinion is behind such a move. He and his aides have yet to settle on what he will actually propose, but they've commissioned a poll through his campaign this is new to assess where his supporters are on different gun control measures, and they will have the results by September. Jill, the name of Ivanka Trump does stick out there whenever she's involved with legislation or policy. Do you think as she makes the rounds either on the phone or on the Hill, she is an ambassador with portfolio that she speaks for the boss? I mean, look, she's definitely somebody whom the president, uh, you know, speaks with, who, whose advice he listens to as a whole host of individuals that he speaks to. And um, as NBC, as, as you and, and The Times have reported, uh, the president has been making calls at this point to select members of Congress, both Republicans and Democrats. He's had multiple conversations with Mitch McConnell on this issue. And he, he does, he said, he's told reporters, he told us, uh, you know, just, just yesterday when he last spoke to us, um, that he is interested in moving forward. He believes that there is political will behind some type of new background check legislation. But at this point, he's clearly um, not deeply in the weeds of the different policy proposals and is clearly looking for guidance, as evidenced by that poll, of exactly what the best way to move forward is. You know, the president obviously got a ton of financial support and political support from the NRA, which is obviously in a weakened uh, stance right now. Nonetheless, he knows that this is an issue that is deeply important to his supporters. But he also believes that he is a person who, because, you know, he, he stands up there and he says he is so pro the Second Amendment because uh, gun supporters have been such a loyal base, he does feel like he has some wiggle room here. And he'd very much like to be able to stand up there and say, look, I was the president who was able to get something passed here when previous administrations have failed to do that. It's just a question now of exactly what that looks like and the extent to which he's going to really put his muscle behind this. You know, what we're hearing uh, from Republicans on the Hill is this is only going to move forward if it has the full support of the president. It's unclear right now whether he's going to wind up giving that. Hey, Franco, here's a subplot, and this is a first in our memory, the NRA polling underwater. This is part of a Fox News poll. We're going to use some of their other results later in the hour. First time uh, NRA polling unfavorable, 47-42. Um, so obviously the NRA is going through internal troubles. It's also been argued the left will make a mistake if they view this as weakness. The NRA is at its heart an idea that can be a huge voter um, uh, uh, motivator. Absolutely. I mean, there, I think there's no question now that the NRA is in a difficult time. Republicans tell me that as well, um, supporters of the NRA. But they also say that, look, Democrats can overreach um, if they do not come forward and try to negotiate with Republicans on some of these issues, such as a background check, such as uh, perhaps uh, red flag laws or other measures that uh, Trump seems to be implying for uh, my sources who are close to uh, the president and the White House say uh, that he is interested in doing uh, something, uh, but they're just hopeful that Democrats will kind of come off their edge. And there is a question whether Democrats um, will be willing to give President Trump um, a political victory here. That said, uh, we have been in this situation before. Democrats obviously have a lot of doubt um, about whether Trump would actually confront the NRA, would actually go forward with, with some of the things that he's talking about. Um, and I think there's a lot of skepticism um, about whether President Trump really will put the muscle behind, his own muscle behind this, because that's what's going to be needed. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.